this is my new car and today I'm going to show you how I fix it. So now we can see a little bit more the extent of the damage. So it's almost all cosmetic, uh, except for a few parts. So obviously the bumper we took off, the fender uh, and the headlights needs to be replaced. Um, the fender liner is broken here, so that also needs to be replaced. As well uh, as the bracket that holds the mount for the bumper and the headlight on. This is bent. So I'm going to try to get a replacement part for this piece and weld it on. And also a plastic bracket that holds the bumper in place. It's also missing. Plastic bracket that holds the bumper in place uh, is broken so it needs to be replaced too. So that's the extent of the damage on the front. And then on the back side there's a, some damage as well uh, to the boot. And also the bumper here is dented. So we're going to get a new one. A new bumper and a new boot and then on the roof there's some uh, lining missing or I don't know how you call those things but they're missing on both sides so I'm gonna try and get that and on the driver's side the buttons for the windows are uh, broken so I'm gonna get a new one of those and while we're at it we're also gonna do a big service to the engine so oil spark plugs all the filters a new coolant reservoir because this one is all gunked up it looks not very nice uh, and the tires are almost gone so we're gonna get a new set of tires then after that she should be all good to go back on the road again
hun een nieuw boot aan die Astra doesn't close properly. I think the lock is not going far enough to latch onto the metal bar, so I'm gonna undo those screws and move it up a little bit. And hopefully that works. So that seems to have fixed the problem. So the car wouldn't lock or unlock with the key, so I had to change the ignition barrel. To make the key work, I had to switch the old circuit board onto the new key fob. I also had to change out the driver's side door lock so I could use the new key. But after all that, it worked. Soon after I bought the car, the check engine light came on for the O2 sensor, so I also had to replace that.
as you can see we're still missing a grill so I've got that and also this light I try to clean it and sand it but it's not becoming very clear like this one which is the new one so I bought another new one So in total, this is what the car has cost me. So I bought the car for 350 euros. And for all the parts that I fixed on it, I spent another 600 euros. And then for the maintenance, like the tires, changing the oil and the spark plugs, I spent another 250 euros. So in total, this car has cost me about 1200 euros, which I think is a pretty good deal, as these cars go for about 2000 euros second hand. So thank you for watching this video and see you next time.